Chicago White Sox hosting the Minnesota Twins. The White Sox are minus 125. The Twins are plus 105. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Twins getting a run and a half are minus 190, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The White Sox laying a run and a half are plus 158, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Bundy has pitched three times against the White Sox this year. Five innings, no runs, no earned. They won 9-2. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won 6-3 in 10 innings in Chicago. Five and a third, three runs, three earned. They won 6-3. Giolito has pitched once against the Twins this year. Four innings, one run, one earned. They lost 6-4 in 10 innings in Minnesota. The Twins are on a three-game losing streak. They're 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 27-35 and 35 on the road, 11-13 and 13 with Bundy on the mound, and the under is 13-6-5 and five in the games in which he pitches in. The Twins are 59-72 and 72 on the run line. The White Sox are on a four-game winning streak. They're 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 34-35 and 35 at home, 10-14 and 14 as a team with Giolito on the mound, and the over is 15-8-1 and one in the games in which he pitches in. And the White Sox are 60 and 73 on the run line. Head to head, the White Sox are on a three game winning streak. The White Sox are 6 and 4 against the Twins in their last 10. There have been two one run games in their last 10 meetings. The underdog getting a run and a half is 7 and 3. The over is 6, 2, and 2. The over 8 and a half specifically is 8 and 2. Bundy hasn't lost to the White Sox this year, and he's an underdog getting some decent runs, so I'd like the odds in this game. I'm going to take the Twins with the money line, the Twins getting the runs, and the over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.